Good afternoon and welcome to this week's Climate Dispatch. Johanna Miller of the Vermont Natural Resources Council. I'm here with Representative uh, Sarah Coffey, who's the chair of the House Transportation Committee, and my colleague Katie Gallagher, who runs our Sustainable Communities Program. We're here to give you a brief overview of what's in the Transportation Resilience and Infrastructure Bill, which is a policy bill that ideally um, core components, which you're gonna hear from Chair Coffey in just a minute, will ideally be embedded into the T-Bill, which is one of the must-pass bills of the, the session. And there's been some really important conversations and work underway under the leadership of Chair Coffey and members of her committee to make sure that we're tackling the transportation sector, you know, cleaning it up, greening it up, making it multimodal and accessible for everyone. So Chair Coffey, what are the core components of that policy and what are you excited about moving Great. forward? Well, I'm excited about, first I wanna say, what is exciting about being in the Transportation Committee these days is that it's the space where we're doing a lot to address climate. Because as Vermonters probably know that um, our transportation sector contributes nearly 40% of the state's greenhouse gas emissions. And what I love about our committee is that we're both a policy committee and a money committee, so we can back up our policy decisions with money. Yeah. So the three priorities that I carried into the session were addressing climate resiliency, continuing to reduce our climate, um, our greenhouse gas emissions, mm -hmm. and to begin to identify a permanent source of revenue to support a 21st century green, clean, and affordable transportation sector. So the vehicle that we um, have used and are using is H693, which is the Transportation Infrastructure and Resiliency Act. Oh. And it has um, um, been really fun to pull some of the elements of that bill uh, into what is a must-pass bill, which is the Transportation Bill, or in short, we, for shorthand, we call it the T-Bill. <laughs> So it's, it's, we're in the process of doing that right now, and I'm happy to go into some of the details, but I'm happy to say that um, a lot of the work and emphasis of that bill is about building resiliency within our infrastructure, mm -hmm. continuing to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, but also addressing more walkable and bikeable communities, because we know in addition to carbon reductions, it also makes our communities so much more livable. Um, yep. Which is so important, and that's where Katie really leads on this work. Katie, tell us about transportation for Vermonters and what you're focusing on in partnership with Chair Coffee. Be happy to. Um, well, thank you, Chair Coffee, for all of your your work on the Transportation Committee. Um, for folks who don't know, the Transportation for Vermonters Coalition is a diverse cross-sector advocacy coalition that works throughout the state um, to try to build the transportation system that. Um, provides accessible and sustainable transportation options for our rural state, which is obviously no easy feat. And we feel very grateful to have such fantastic partners right now in the House Transportation Committee. Our coalition is um, focused not only on the environmental aspects of transportation, but also um, the equity components and making sure that we have transportation for our aging uh, neighbors and um, for our kids who want to walk to school. And so as Chair Coffey mentioned, this is not only um, a way that we need to move forward in order to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and address climate change, but the good news is it's also a same way that we can um, create livable communities that are thriving for people of all ages and all abilities. Um, so we're really excited to be working with the House Transportation Committee this year on many of the same goals to increase transportation options so that folks don't have to worry about how they're going to get to work or to a doctor's appointment and can save a bit of money when we know that owning a car in Vermont is, is really expensive and there's so many benefits to creating um, a sustainable and accessible transportation system. So you can learn more about our priorities this year. Um, our website is T number four vt.org we're also on instagram and would love to hear any thoughts that that you have about how um, we can make our transportation system more accessible for you and any challenges that you're facing but um, it's really great work thanks katie thanks chair coffee um, we're going to be looking forward to keeping you um, up to date on what's happening with the t-bill um, and all the important work there as chair coffee noted as katie noted as you know, we like to end these um, dispatches with a call to action. 
this week because we understand that our building a sustainable transportation system also requires having smart land use practices. There's a really important um, resilience bill in the Senate. The Senate Natural Resources and Energy Committee has been working on S213, which is really focused on, um, you know, sort of hardening our natural resources to gird against the impacts of climate change, focused on dam safety, protecting um, our riparian corridors, um, expanding wetland protection, protecting existing wetlands. It's a very important bill. The Senate's moving it forward. We hope you'll join us in reaching out to your senators and asking them to support S213 as part of the package of programs and policies that we're going to need to build a resilient 21st century Vermont. So thanks for all you do. Thanks again, Chair Coffee, for all Pleasure you do. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. More soon. Available.